Good day and welcome to the show. I'm Joe. This is Derek, and we are here with you from Cruise Away, where we love to take you on amazing holiday adventures that you can book today for a low deposit. Now, over the next 30 minutes, be prepared for quite some adventure. As we five-star voyage with what many regard as the pinnacle of cruising, Cunard Line. Yeah, and coming up, three fabulous opportunities for you to experience their world-famous White Star service, including cruising from our shores, which I have to tell you is both rare and exciting. Yep. We've got your chance to take a top-end discovery of Australia over the course of 20 nights, or if you can stretch to a month away, mm -hmm. then you could be cruising a full circumnavigation of our coastline this October and with an exclusive price tag coming your way. Plus, with the first brand new ship from Cunard for over a decade on the way next year, we'll have a once in a lifetime package that could see you experience all four queens on the <laughs> ultimate 56 night medley getaway. Uh, more on that a little later, but first, if you're new to us here on Gecko, let us introduce you to the big brand of Cruise Away. Here at Cruise Away, we've been sending Australian travellers on amazing cruise holidays for over 25 years. Our award-winning team specialise in bringing you the best deals from all major cruise lines sailing right across the globe. Whether you're looking to cruise locally or afar, with thousands of unmissable deals available right now, you can be sure we'll find you your perfect cruise holiday. So, if you're ready, let's go cruising. Ah. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Always lovely talking about holidays. I tell you what, you know, make sure you make a date every single day uh, to come and join us because this is our this is our happy place. This it is where we talk about is. nothing but mm -hmm. fabulous holidays. First offer actually is brilliant because it's funny, isn't it? Sometimes you always think to go on a holiday, you need to go to the other side of the world and mm -hmm. we forget what's just there over there just over there yeah and the beautifully diverse and exciting uh, nature and experiences that we can enjoy right here in Australia are going to be at your fingertips with the world of cruising. So this one's called the Australia Top End Discovery. It's for 20 nights on the 18th of October next year. Now you are going to board the Queen Elizabeth in Sydney for an 18 night cruise and how fabulous to just stroll on board from our shores. And Queen Elizabeth, I think in her cruising career has only been over to Sydney a handful of times. She does her world cruise once a year ordinarily. So actually stepping on board the absolute pinnacle of cruising from the Sydney um, port is incredible and this is how you'll get to experience the luxury and refinement of the original White Star Line in the very best way and this is quintessential British cruising done in the right way it's black tie and evening wear every night if you wish there's also casual options always on board modern cruise ships but you have the fun and experience of in, you know just really enjoying cruising at its best and then up in the winter garden white glove afternoon teas every day if you want. This is all included by the way in your cruising fare. Now Cunard is all about the experience of traditional and classic and fun evening entertainment. So you have ballroom dancing, you can do classes or if you are um, maybe if you're a couple that, that goes to dance classes back home this will be a great way for you to showcase your skills uh, you know and meet a community of other dancers too. Or you might just be like me and just like to watch everything sitting there with a cocktail. But the experiences are on offer for you. You have the lavish white, um, the, the White Star uh, Gallery, um, which is it, fantastic as well. And you actually, White Wall, excuse me, which now enables you to bid for artwork and to choose from some select um, limited edition paintings. And that's lots of fun. Uh, you have enrichment lecturers on board as well, be, bringing you even closer to the destinations through their experience and their eye of the different parts of the world, um, different parts of the country in this case, that you're gonna be visiting. So they'll be flying on some of the top experts globally and from Australia. We're heading straight out um, to Early Beach as our first port of call. And of course, this will enable you to see the Great Barrier Reef in its uh, full glory. Then on to Cairns, uh, where you can visit the Daintree Rainforest or perhaps head up on the Corunda Railway and see the incredible Cape Tribulation. Amazing. On to Darwin for Northern Territory. And, and this is where you can see Kakadu National Park. Maybe spot some of the Aussie Big Five, including Kangaroo, Koala and Echidna. Who knows? Then we're on to Benoit in Bali 
Uh, now, fantastic thing about this is this is the island of the gods with so much cultural his history um, and beautiful rainforest as well. Broome is up next over on the west coast where you can visit Cable Beach, uh, maybe head to an artisan sort of brewery, um, you know, grab, a, grab some wine. Geraldton's up next, and this is where you can just see that that raw natural beauty of the beautiful cliffs. Perhaps head to uh, the Lavender Farms as well for some lovely pictures. We are disembarking in Fremantle, Perth, and you'll actually have a two-night hotel stay to enjoy this part of the country. Now, so many Aussies who live over on the East Coast haven't even ventured over to the West Coast, so I think this is a great way of getting there without doing the, you know, regular route of flying, and Fremantle actually has a lot to offer. Um, it's known for its maritime history, Victorian architecture, you've got the remnants of um, Australia's days of course as the penal colony so you can head to the prison, it's really interesting uh, to visit that and just stroll around and grab a drink in this beautiful temperate climate. We're then flying you back to Sydney and it was so easy because of course you, you cruise out of Sydney, you fly back into Sydney, you get to see some of Australia's finest cruising destinations on one of the most iconic ships of all time. What an exciting opportunity. Yeah, it truly is actually. And it's funny, isn't it? I was just, I was listening to all of your descriptions as we were going around um, the top end there and into Bali. And I was just thinking uh, on a holiday of this kind of length, often, we go to one place. We just go to one place. And it might be a nice place, don't get me wrong, but we go to one place and what happens is, we got the hotel, obviously, however nice or not that might be, um, and then you start exploring. So you see all the things that are close and then as the days go on, you feel like you need to travel a little bit further out to go and see more interesting things which are further away. So what happens then, as you go through your holiday, the holiday days actually end up getting shorter because you're having to travel further out. The brilliant thing about this cruise, well any cruise to be honest with you, is that rather than just going to one place, the ship is taking you to all of these different destinations. So you are travelling amazing distances. One, you're not having to do the travelling, you're not in control, you don't have a steering wheel or a joystick or however they control the ships. You don't have to do all of that, that's all taken care of. Also. It's a lot more than in a hotel. You have the room in the restaurant, right? No other major redeeming features in a hotel apart from those, right? Here, so much to enjoy, which is included as part of your experience as well. So, October next year, 18 fabulous nights of incredible Queen Elizabeth cruising around the top end of Australia and into Bali as well. And we've got a two-night hotel stay in Perth, plus, of course, the flight back to Sydney. We can put a low deposit down on this right now, so just $430 each today makes this price possible. And I tell you what, what is included in this price as part of the Cunard experience is absolutely incredible, let me tell you. Let's have a look at the upgrades then if you want to upgrade while you're on board. Um, just a quick reminder as well, by the way, um, on another show that we've got running around at the moment, there's a great Australian culinary voyage in January you might be interested in, in with Cunard as well. You get the chance to meet and enjoy the skills of Darren Purchase, Karen Martini, Mark Olive, Gary Megan, of course, uh, the former MasterChef judge, um, and Katie Sp uh, Spain, the drinks expert as well. So if you want to know more about that, speak to our team as well. The number is toll free. It's 1300 411 968. 1300 411 968 is our telephone number there. If you're interested in either of the offer on screen or that lovely great Australian culinary voyage, which sounds amazing. Oh my word, I tell you what, before we even start this next offer, Joe, I'm dizzy already. <laughs> I have never, <laughs> Derek, in almost 20 years working in the travel industry, I've never seen an offer like this it's before. It's crazy. Are I, you ready? I am. And my mind is blown right now. Deep and breath. I, oh, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you watching because 
I know so many of you understand um, the reputation of Cunard and you aspire to cruising on Cunard. But when we are cruising from Australia, it almost makes sense, doesn't it, to kind of kill a few birds with one stone and, and venture to several destinations at once because we are quite far away from different parts of the rest of the world. So what we've done for you, first time ever, is we have created the ultimate Cunard getaway. It's for 56 nights. You're going to be heading on to the four queens. You've got a four queen medley right here, quite some adventure, leaving on the 20th of June next year. So we're getting away from the winter. We're going to fly from Sydney to Canada for a one night hotel stay in Vancouver. Beautiful Vancouver in spring, oh, summertime, excuse me. So what a great time to visit uh, the jewel of the Pacific Northwest. You'll have a night there to become acclimatized. And then it's time to join our very first queen for a cruise up to Alaska. We're heading on board the beautiful and elegant Queen Elizabeth, where you will get to enjoy the Great White North in the best way possible. The amazing thing about uh, cruising on Cunard for Alaska is that they have um, ecology and economy experts flown on board to give you lectures. Um, they will have commentaries happening when you're going through some of the scenic cruising opportunities like the Inside Passage and things like that. So being up on deck with your cheeky hot chocolate, your cheeky Bailey's latte in hand um, will be the ultimate experience. It's very much an indoor outdoor experience cruising Alaska. And first up, we're heading to uh, the gorgeous port of Ketchikan. This is where you can enjoy a Misty Fjords experience, head out on some eagle watching tours, or perhaps head to the great Alaskan lumberjack show. On to Juneau, the capital only reachable by air or sea, where you can head to Mendenhall Glacier, maybe up to Mount Roberts Tramway, or go and see the musher dogs in the musher camp. Then we're on to Haynes. This is such a cute little port. Really enjoyed visiting this one. Um, it has the longest and deepest fjord in Alaska. Um, you've got the Hammer Museum. I've visited that. Hammer Glacier up next for some scenic cruising. And it's North America's largest tidewater glacier, 76 miles long. You might see it carving. That's amazing. Sitka up next, um, the first and oldest city in Alaska. Some people say it's 10,000 years old. Now you have the amazing bear sanctuary there, which I'd recommend. We're into Victoria. This is your cute little chocolate box, picture perfect Canadian town on the island of Vancouver Island. Um, lots to see and do there. Take a wander around. We're disembarking in Vancouver and you get to enjoy two nights here, which is great. So we have a little taster at the beginning of one night. You've got two more nights to enjoy everything Vancouver has to offer. Indoor and outdoor experiences, great shopping, delicious food, wonderful scenery, very fresh. Then guess what? We're hopping on a plane and we are heading to the Big Apple itself, New York City. Three nights here. I know three nights is a brilliant amount of time to enjoy Manhattan. Brooklyn, maybe you'll head to the surrounding area of Hell's Kitchen and Queens as well, so the four boroughs. But, you know, just even wandering from district to district in New York, you get a real feel for this amazing city, which just never sleeps. I mean, they say it, but it's so true. Um, so great you have to say it twice, New York, New York. Head out and see Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty, Central Park, of course. Don't forget to ride a yellow cab. Forget about it. Then we're heading on to the Queen Mary 2. Uh, this iconic ocean liner, she's not just a cruise ship or a vessel, she is an ocean liner. Part of the original White Star Line, the original cruise ships. You actually have a little museum on board which talks you through the history. Um, she is well versed at crossing the Atlantic, which you're going to be doing. So you'll, um, you'll have loads of activities packed into your daily schedule, whether it be dancing or playing tennis, learning to fence, um, having a masterclass with one of their incredible professional dancers, maybe getting some scrapbooking done because you are on an epic adventure. You're going to be on board for eight fabulous nights and you are hopping across the pond on the Queen Mary. So we're going to be at sea over to Southampton. Once in Southampton, you're going to come off and you're going to um, board the Queen and the brand new vessel from Cunard for 14 nights. And you're heading over to Iceland and the British Isles on this adventure. Now, Queen Anne is retaining a lot of the classic charm of Cunard, but with the updates and 
refreshing edges that we're all excited about. So you're talking about brand new dining venues, you're talking about beautifully refreshed and invigorated spaces, um, gorgeous design elements as well. Everybody is so, so excited about this new vessel. Um, whether it be just uh, enjoying a pint in the pub or perhaps heading to watch some live theater every night they have a different show, you're gonna love everything that the Queen Anne offers um, and of course gorgeously appointed staterooms as well. Now let's see where we're off to. Heading to Scotland first, in the Gordon, where um, you can enjoy uh, the Loch Ness, which is very cool, cool and Dunrobin Castle as well. Next up, we are in to Kirkwall, and this is the largest town in Orkley in, in, in Scotland, an archipelago in the north of mainland Scotland, very pretty. Reykjavik next, and we have an overnight here. So my recommendation for sure is to head to the geothermal fields on a tour, or the Blue Lagoon, or both, because you have an overnight. Um, on to your next Icelandic port, Isafjordor, uh, where you can actually see the Icelandic fjords. I know, who knew? Fjords in Iceland, very cool, very cool, uh, no pun intended. Um, mm -hmm. Akureyri is next, uh, very, a very lovely sort of um, uh, spaces that you can enjoy, including the uh, the stained glass window church, which um, has an ancient scene from Icelandic history to see. Then we're back into Scotland, Greenock. This is your port for uh, Glasgow, and it's famed for its nouveau architecture. Glasgow, very pretty. Now we're gonna be disembarking in Southampton, and we're gonna be giving you four nights in a London hotel. Now, the wonderful thing about this is you get to enjoy the capital and all its flair in the summertime, a gorgeous time to enjoy London. Whether it's Tower of London, heading to Oxford Street or Covent Garden for a spot of shopping, the London eyes a must, so you get a lovely overview of London. It's going to be but amazing. Then, it's going to be amazing. You're back on a plane heading to Rome, Italy. <laughs> it's a short flight, don't worry. Yeah, you thought you were coming home. <laughs> You've got four nights in Rome and another cruise still to come, actually. Four nights in the Eternal City in Rome, of course. Go and see the Vatican City. Go and see the Colosseum. Go and enjoy some fabulous food, of course, in one of the most romantic mm -mm -mm. cities on earth. It's going to be incredible. And don't worry, your cruise is the port for Rome. That's where you're joining the fourth and final queen. And here she is, the Queen Victoria. Um, again, that wonderful sumptuousness of the Cunard experience. And of course, during the day, the Cunard experience is very relaxed, it's very casual, it's as it would be on any other cruise line. It's really kind of that early evening yeah. where there's the switch to, okay, this is Cunard, let's dress up, let's make the effort in the Royal Court Theatre, in the fabulous restaurants. Of course, there are more comfortable options for you um, if you want to that are more relaxed. And here's where this cruise goes. Livonio first. This is the port, the port for Florence. Uh, you can head to the beautiful and tranquil Tuscan town of Lucca as well. Um, great place to visit. Toulon's up next, and it's a port city on the southern uh, southern France's Mediterranean coast. So you've got lovely sandy beaches there, shingle coves, uh, the Teleferique, which is the cable car. Palma de Mallorca, I would take a nice stroll along the ocean side here, grab a cocktail, there's lots of lovely bars and restaurants, just a nice relaxed experience in uh, one of the Iberic Islands. Valencia up next, which is uh, Spain's third city, you have the incredible Cuatro Serranos there, and also La Oceanographique, which is an amazingly imposing structure. We're going to di uh, disembark in Barcelona, and you have a two-night hotel stay, and this, my friends, is the end of your trip, so you might want to shop to your drive in Barcelona for souvenirs to take home. You might want to enjoy some lovely seafood. Don't forget to head to the football stadium for the famed um, experience of tour you can have there as well. Uh, El Bourne's a lovely district for the Gothic architecture. Uh, talking of architecture, there's so much to see. So to give you an overview, I know it is dizzying, <laughs> it's exciting, and the amount of things we're going to visit, places we're going to go, are just uh, jaw-dropping. Starting off in Vancouver, of course, uh, heading out to that incredible Alaskan adventure on your first queen, the Queen Elizabeth. Then we're hopping over the pond from New York City after a New York stay on the Queen Mary II, uh, the famed ocean liner. Once in Southampton, we're getting on to our next queen, and we're heading all the way up to the Icelandic fjords and also the Orkney Isles in 
in Scotland, up into Glasgow as well. Uh, then we're heading to London town for a little bit of a stay in the nation's capital before heading to Rome, Italy and enjoying the Eternal City. Once in Rome, Italy, we're heading to the final Queen adventure on the Queen Victoria where we are heading through the Mediterranean before enjoying a final little hit of Barcelona and then back into Sydney. Amen. Oh, <laughs> my word. I don't even know where to start with this holiday. It's great. I tell you what, whoever in our team managed to stitch all of these experiences together, you deserve an absolute medal. I tell you what, this will be so appealing to so many people. I'm going to show you the price straight away because it is absolutely incredible. I mean, this is almost like doing the world, isn't it? It kind of feels like that, doesn't it? It's incredible. And under $15,000 per person right now. This is for June next year. And remember, you get to sell four Cunard Queens in one amazing holiday. So included in that price is the flight from Sydney to Vancouver, the night in a hotel there, the flight from there to New York, and three nights in a hotel. I forgot the Alaskan cruise. And then you've got eight nights of Queen Mary two cruising uh, to England from New York. And then we've got the Queen Anne cruise in Southampton in England for two weeks of cruising Iceland of the British Isles. Then we've got the four night stay in London. That's included the flight from London to Rome included four nights in a hotel there and the final cruise on Queen Victoria for seven nights around the Mediterranean to Barcelona, two nights in a hotel there and the flight back to Sydney, all included. How did I remember all of that? Uh, all are included in that price tag right now. You can put a deposit of just a thousand dollars each down today to book this opportunity. Here's the upgrades as well. If you want to upgrade on the cruises, uh, of which there are four, which I think this is the first time I think ever, ever, ever. And I've been talking um, cruises around the world on TV for a long, long time, well over a decade. I don't think I've ever, we've ever seen an offer which has four cruises in one holiday. Um, so exciting though. I can't even begin to talk about how exciting and what the major highlights of all, because everything about that holiday is a highlight. Call us now, 1300 411 968. It's toll free to call. Wow. <laughs> and, and I'm still dizzy. <laughs> I'm still dizzy. Uh, right, let's do another dizzy experience. Actually, let's go right the way around Australia next. 30 nights circumnavigating Australia. And we've got an exclusive price tag coming up for you with a big saving to be had. It's the 18th of October next year. The ship of choice is Queen Elizabeth. Brilliant. Oh, my word. I love an opportunity, Derek, to circumnavigate Australia, especially on a ship like Cunard, because it takes us to all those little off the beaten track towns that we might have had on our list but never got around to visiting. And it's fair to say, you know, a lot of Australians probably would be more likely to go on holiday to Europe or Bali or somewhere else in Asia than even, you know, go to these lovely places on our own doorsteps. It's mm -hmm. just the way it works. But this is wonderful. It's casual. It's a relaxed way of enjoying Australia without, you know, flying from place to place. Um, and the Queen Elizabeth, she's a beautiful vessel. Whether it be dining in the classic dining room every night, you get to enjoy a sumptuous three or four course meal um, or fantastic shows and they will be flying on guest acts from around Australia as well. You have comedians, you have um, singers, singing groups, and you also have uh, magicians. You have the featured cast on board Cunard also, but look at that grand atrium. Can you imagine the pictures you're gonna get? Strolling hand in hand down the stairs, get dust off your glad rags, ladies. Gentlemen, get that tux out because you are cruising on Cunard. Heading into Early Beach for, of course, the Great Barrier Reef and Whit Sundays. Take a helicopter tour, you're, it, I'd highly recommend it. Your shore excursions Team can help you with that one. On to Cairns, which is gateway to the Daintree Rainforest and of course beautiful Cape Captivation. You also have, of course, more Barrier Reef there to visit. We're on to Darwin next, where you might want to be brave and cage dive with the crocs in Crocosaurus Cove or head over to Kakadu National Park. Again, this might have been on the bucket list. Next, we're into Bali for a little touch of the Island of the Gods, where you can visit the Monkey Jungle or maybe the Uluwatu Incredible Temple right up in the mountains. So beautiful. Brooms, our next destination, for a little bit of Western Australian charm uh, with the most gorgeous beaches and temperate 
climate in the whole of the country. It's perfect, isn't it? Geraldton's up next, and you can head to the Calbury National Park or perhaps to the Lavender Farms. I'm just thinking of a lovely photo shoot in the Lavender Farms. What a lovely, um, you know, experience that would be. Fremantle is next on the list, and I think a day at the prison would be a really interesting experience. If you'd love to have that immersive kind of travel experience. Um, Albany is, is our next destination where you can visit the National Anzac Centre or perhaps head up to the National Park if you like to enjoy um, the outdoor space while you're on a cruise. And then it's the 20-minute city, Adelaide. If you haven't tried a pie floater before, you know you've got to do it in Adelaide. There's also the Steve Irwin Zoo there, which is incredible. And Barossa Valley. Uh, Melbourne, where I grew up there, next port for you. Uh, the incredible Fed Square, right in the centre of town. South Bank's amazing too. Healesville Sanctuary, that is gorgeous. Then we're on into Tasmania. And again, this is one on my list I haven't even visited. And it's the Apple Isle, known as the Apple Isle for a reason. Beautiful, fresh, natural beauty outside awaits. And Port Arthur, another destination in Tassie for you, where you can visit Remarkable Cave and lots of lovely natural formations here, of course. We're back into Sydney where we'll disembark after circumnavigating Oz on this incredible 30 night adventure. A whole night away, a whole three nights, 30 nights away even. <laughs> More than one, one times 30. Oh, just awesome. Such a nice itinerary as well, isn't it? it we always forget, don't we, what is just around the corner from where we are right now. And actually doing it on a cruise where the traveling part of it, you're not really involved in, you just let it happen. You know, if you got one of those campers or a van or whatever, or a motorhome, it would just be, ah, oh. and the, the journey from one place to another and picking up provisions and constantly filling it up and all of that kind of stuff sounds like a nightmare. Whereas this sounds like an absolute dream. 30 nights of cruising on Queen Elizabeth. I mean, you're going straight to the pinnacle of cruising here around Australia. What an incredible and rare opportunity. And we've got an exclusive saving from us here at Cruise Away as well. We are saving you over $1,600 per cabin on the price tag I've got for you. So get ready to get booking because here is your price tag. A deposit of just $800 each will make this price happen for you. This is one of the most exclusive opportunities with Cunard, which is such a boutique, beautiful cruise experience worldwide, not just here in Australia, across the world. Cruisers who have cruised 30 times, 130 times, still aspire to this kind of experience because it's the Cunard you remember for a long, long time. Let's have a look at your upgrades. Bearing in mind, we have saved you over $1,600 on this opportunity already as an exclusive saving with Cruiseaway. Um, and you might be thinking, right, okay, so how have you made an exclusive saving for us at Cruiseaway? Um, because everyone's a cynic, aren't they, these days? Mm -hmm. Uh, and what happens is basically because Cruise Away is such a big business and so many of you very, very kindly trust your bookings with us, our relationship with all of the major cruise lines, all of the major cruise lines all the way across the world um, is incredible. So of course that gives us a little bit of buying power. So it's kind of a win-win situation really. For the cruise lines, they know that we as a company are bringing a lot of passengers their way. Therefore, it's kind of, you scratch my back, Absolutely. And I'll scratch yours. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a show like this before. I know. Incredible. You, you have a look on, we're on YouTube as well. You can have a little look at the show, play it back on repeat, write those notes down, give our team a call and they'll go through everything with you. This is a really a once in a lifetime experience that we've offered you on this show. Definitely. See you back here soon. Bye-bye. Bye for now.